to Edward John Morton Drax Plunkett, 18th Baron Dunsany. As when the sun above a dusky wold springs into sight and turns the gloom to gold, lights with his magic beams the dew-decked bower, and wakes to life the gray responsive flower. So now o'er realms where darkening dullness lies and solar state sees shining plunket rise, monarch of fancy, whose ethereal mind mounts fairy peaks and leaves the throng behind, whose soul untainted bursts the bounds of space and leads to regions of supernal grace. Can any praise thee with too strong a tone, who, in this age of folly, gleamed alone thy quill, Dunsany, with an art divine, recalls the gods to each deserted shrine? From mystic air a novel pantheon makes, and with new spirits fills the meads and breaks. With thee we wander through medieval bowers, for thou hast brought earth's children back and ours, how leaps the soul with sudden bliss increased when led by thee to lands beyond the east. Sick of this sphere and crime and conflict old, we yearn for wonders distant and untold. O'er Homer's page a second time we pour and rack our brains for gleams of infant lore. But all in vain, for valiant though we strive, no common means these pictures can revive. Then dawns Dunsany with celestial light, and fulgent visions break upon our sight, his barquet enchanted, each sad spirit bears to shores of gold beyond the reach of cares. No earthly trammels now our thoughts may chain, for childhood's fancy hath come back again. What glittering worlds now wait our eager eyes, what roads untrodden beckon through the skies, wonders on wonders line the gorgeous ways, and glorious vistas greet the ravished gaze. Mountains of clouds, castles of crystal dreams, ethereal cities and Elysian streams, temples of blue where myriad stars adore forgotten gods of aeons gone before. Such are thine arts, Dunsany, such thy skill, that scarce terrestrial seems thy moving quill. Can man, and man alone, successful, draw such scenes of wonder in domains of awe? Our hearts enraptured fix thy mind's abode, and high Pagana hail thee as a god, and sure, can aught more high or godlike be than such a fancy as resides in thee? Delighted Pan, a friend and peer, perceives as thy sweet music steers the sylvan leaves. The nine transported bless thy golden lyre, approve thy fancy and applaud thy fire, whilst Jove himself assumes a brother's tone, and vows the pantheon equal to his own. Dunsany, may thy days be glad and long, replete with visions and attuned with song. May thy rare notes increasing millions cheer, thy name beloved and thy memory dear. Tis thou who hast in hours of dullness brought new charms of language and new gems of thought, hast with a poet's grace enriched the earth, with orient dreams as noble as thy birth. Grateful we name thee, bright with fixed renown, the fairest jewel and Hibernia's crown.